The Cassini spacecraft was in operation for 20 years before it crashed into Saturn in 2017 in a spectacular finale, radioing valuable data back to Earth even in its final minutes. This makes the Cassini mission one of the most successful NASA operations of all time. In this video, we show you all the things Cassini discovered and the breathtaking images the probe delivered of Saturn. Saturn and Cassini Saturn, with its unique ring system, has long been considered the outermost planet in the solar system. From Earth, it is just barely visible with simple telescopes. In the Middle Ages, astronomers recognized the fine dust disks. Nevertheless, they did not know for a long time what this strange phenomenon meant. In 1610, Galileo Galilei was the first to recognize the rings but he interpreted them wrongly as handles, like for a mug. 45 years later, the Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens was the first to recognize ring-shaped objects. Finally, in 1675, the Italian Giovanni Domenico Cassini was able to detect a whole series of rings and concluded that they might be disks of very fine dust. No wonder, then, that NASA scientists in the 20th century named the first dual probe to explore Saturn exclusively after the two pioneers of Saturn research. The Cassini-Huygens probe was launched from Cape Canaveral Cosmodrome on October 15, 1997, and reached Saturn's orbit after about seven years. Soon after technology and the camera were ready to use, Cassini surprised people on Earth with its first snapshot. Saturn, photographed here from the night side, and a small part of its impressive ring system appear powerfully above a tiny bright dot. The small blue dot is our Earth as it looks from Saturn. From the first razor-sharp images, it was clear that the Cassini-Huygens mission would far surpass all previous images of Saturn and finally provide answers to important questions. As early as the 1970s, scientists were impressed by the images the Voyager probes and the Pioneer 11 mission radioed to Earth from Saturn. But those probes only snapped Saturn in flyby, and of course, they were nowhere near the technical capabilities available for the Cassini mission in the late 1990s. The Ring System the primary goal of the Cassini mission was to explore Saturn's unique rings in more detail. Scientists on Earth hoped, among other things, to understand more about the formation processes of planets. Today, astronomers already know that stars and planets begin as simple clouds of dust and gas. For reasons unknown so far, these are set in motion and incredible forces form round bodies like planets and stars over millions of years. But here the researchers experienced a surprise right at the beginning of the Cassini mission because Saturn's ring system does not seem to arise from the early days of the solar system. On the contrary, the probe's measurement data showed that the rings are compared comparatively young. They might be only 100 million years old, while the solar system was formed about 4.5 billion years ago. On board the probe was an ultra-fine measurement system that could detect particle sizes in the micrometer range within Saturn's rings using the wavelength of light coming from the Sun. The measurements confirmed that the rings are composed of dust, but larger particles, chunks of ice, and lumps of rock up to the size of a house also occur. Cassini was also the first spacecraft to determine that Saturn's ring system consists of hundreds of individual rings and not as previously assumed, about four large rings. In total, the ring system is 174,000 miles wide, but only about 1,600 feet thick. How the dust, rock, and countless moons came under Saturn's spell remains an open question. Researchers only recently announced that Saturn's rings remain an astronomical and physical mystery to this day, despite the successes of the Cassini mission. Thanks to the latest space telescopes and improved observational capabilities, Astronomers have now been able to identify even the finest rings around Jupiter and Uranus. But these are so paper thin that they are barely visible to the naked eye. Saturn's rings, on the other hand, are gigantic and easily visible compared to the delicate dust disks of the other gas giants. In particular, 
the rings with larger components could have resulted from the collision of Saturn's moons or smaller comets near Saturn. At the same time, researchers suspect that new moons have formed within the rings. When Cassini captured this nighttime image of Saturn with the ring system and solar radiation in the background, astronomers on Earth again held their breath. The outer glow, a ring of almost blue color, and the size of the ring left scientists speechless. Never before had a human seen this outer ring of Saturn, and as a result, the Cassini spacecraft was even able to provide a very good answer as to how this bluish halo around Saturn is formed. Saturn's Moons To learn more about the rings, their formation and nature, Cassini next had to tackle Saturn's moons. Never before had a probe provided such good photos of Saturn's moons. Saturn has more than 60 true moons and countless other smaller and sometimes very misshapen formations around it. The largest Saturn moon by far is Titan. At 3,200 miles in diameter, Titan is about 50% larger than the Earth's moon. Other known moons of Saturn are the Yin-Yang moon, Iepetus, and the second largest Saturn moon, Rhea. As Cassini approached the icy moon Enceladus, astronomers got another surprise. Thanks to the ultra-fine spectrometers aboard the Cassini probes, the moons could not only be photographed, but also analyzed for the first time. Under Enceladus's icy surface, the researchers found evidence of more than 100 hot springs. These springs ensure that the moon, which measures about 310 miles in diameter, constantly emits a mist of tiny ice particles into the surrounding area, thus forming Saturn's fascinating blue outermost E-ring. It was astonishing that a comparatively small moon with a few hot springs should form what is probably the brightest blue feature in the solar system. The Huygens Mission On January 14, 2005, the Cassini spacecraft separated from the Huygens lander. The probe's destination was the surface of Saturn's moon Titan. A few years earlier, the Hubble Space Telescope had found evidence of water, lakes, and oceans on Saturn's largest moon. This made Titan one of the hot candidates for extraterrestrial life. Huygens was the first probe to land on another planet's moon. Titan wraps itself in a dense layer of clouds. Huygens flew through the clouds and revealed a brownish-yellow rocky world with mountains and valleys. But traces of life were unfortunately not visible in the images. Saturn's North Pole Cassini, meanwhile, continued its orbit around Saturn and next set its sights on the gas giant itself. Saturn, like all other gas planets, probably has no solid surface, but possibly a core of rock. We don't know exactly, however, because no one has ever been able to look inside the gas planets. All we can see are the outer layers of the atmosphere or gigantic storms of gas clouds. Saturn looks like an almost eerily quiet world in most of the images. But this impression is deceptive. In the upper layers, storms rage at speeds of hundreds of miles per hour. Saturn's atmosphere consists mainly of the elements hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. The second largest planet in the solar system has a north and a south pole and rotates around its own axis so fast that its poles are compressed and flattened. The extreme forces at work on or in the gaseous planet are another mystery that scientists on Earth would like to solve. It is still not clear how these gigantic accumulations of gas and dust are held together and why they form optically almost perfect spherical shapes. As on Jupiter's surface, there are also storms of gas clouds on Saturn, which have been raging for several thousand years. By far the most beautiful and unique of these storms is located exactly above Saturn's North Pole. Cassini was able to provide detailed photos and measurement data of the processes inside this storm for the first time. This vortex of clouds and gases was first discovered in the 1980s by the Voyager space probes. Fascinatingly, at some distance from the circular center of the storm, a perfect hexagon forms. In total, this hexagon has a diameter of over 15,000 miles. The perfect geometric shape most likely originates from magnetic forces of Saturn. This storm had another surprise in store. Normally, the dense atmosphere of hydrogen and helium hardly allows a closer look inside Saturn. But in the center of the hexagonal storm, a hole occasionally forms. 
and what the researchers could see there raised many new questions. In fact, this hole, about 120 miles wide, shows evidence that beneath the thick layers of clouds and gases is a brilliant blue sky. By the way, there is also an external storm raging at Saturn's South Pole, and there is a so-called eye to it, but no hexagonal shape. Cassini's Brilliant End For 13 years, Cassini orbited Saturn, providing images, surveying Saturn's surface, photographing Saturn's moons, and bringing Huygens to its crash site above Titan. By September 2017, Cassini was slowly running out of fuel. It was also clear that the spacecraft was getting closer and closer to Saturn as it orbited. Its impending destruction in Saturn's gravitational field was no surprise. But NASA did not want to leave it to Saturn to arbitrarily crush the hero Cassini. The scientists had come up with a special ending for the probe. Starting on September 11th, the final phase was initiated. In its last days, Cassini photographed Saturn's moon Daphnis, which causes strange ripples in the rings. Then Cassini took one last look at the icy moon Enceladus before Saturn, illuminated by the sun, moved in front of the lens. The spacecraft's final look was aimed directly at the area over which it was to crash. From this point on, the probe's cameras were turned off. The remaining fuel was to be used to arm Cassini for its final mission. On Earth, scientists activated a program to stabilize the probe. Cassini was to provide measurement data for as long as possible as it plunged into Saturn's atmosphere. No one on Earth could know how long Cassini could withstand the extreme pressure and how far the probe would penetrate Saturn's interior. For hours, the researchers continued to receive data from the ionosphere, measurement data from dust particles in the atmosphere, and Saturn's magnetic fields. Then suddenly, it was silent. Cassini had burned up as it entered Saturn's denser atmosphere. On Earth, a 20-year mission ended in those hours. Cassini collected 635 bits of data during this time. So far, this has resulted in 4,000 scientific papers and discoveries about Saturn. And to this day, NASA has not yet evaluated all the discoveries and measurement data. Meanwhile, a new Saturn mission is already planned. The icy moon Enceladus is to be examined in detail. Starting in 2040, German engineers are currently building a gigantic drill for this purpose. With its help, Geologists and astronomers hope to unravel the mystery of the water occurrences on Enceladus. And who knows? Perhaps traces of organic life will be found in the depths of the moon. We hope you enjoyed this trip to the gas giant Saturn and its moons. Finally, tell us how you liked the images from the Cassini mission. Do you have an explanation for the formation of Saturn's rings? And what do you think about the storm over the North Pole? and the assumption that Saturn has a bright blue sky beneath its hellish outer layers. We welcome your opinions and discussions on the topic in the comments.